Hi everybody, it's been quite a while since I've uploaded my last video. I'm sorry for the delay to my few subscribers that are out there. You might know, but a video that I uploaded a few days ago went kind of viral and it's getting a lot of attention in both good and bad ways. But uh, <clears throat> today I thought I would post a video staying away from all the politics and all the controversial stuff and just going into how I rescued my old DV tapes, HDV tapes, everything from uh, high eight to digital eight tapes. What happened was I was uh, cleaning my storage and found all these tapes that have been quietly sitting in my closet for the past 20 plus years. And I, I had always assumed that tape media was safe, but I was wrong. What I terrifyingly realized was that <clears throat> tape media, I guess when they first um, designed these systems, I guess the engineers hadn't really thought of what would happen in like 20, 30 years time. And what happens is a lot of the uh, tapes get demagnetized, data gets corrupt. So I ended up with a pretty large bunch of just tapes that were blank and a lot of tapes that were <clears throat> kind of playable but not really. And let me just show you an example. I am using this Sony GBHD 700 deck. It's got this uh, seven inch LCD on it. And <clears throat> here's the big thing. iLink, AKA IEEE 1394, AKA four pin firewire, I think it is. That is what lets us uh, capture to our computer in the best way, in my opinion. You could always go HDMI out. Uh, so here's the power source. So this is what Sony calls iLink. Uh, I think what Apple and the consortium calls IEE-1394, AKA Firewire 4-pin. So the thing is, modern day computers do not have an iLink port. So I've got this cable, which converts it to Firewire 800. In Firewire 800, it goes to Thunderbolt 2. <laughs> and this one goes from Thunderbolt 2 to USB-C Thunderbolt. Was it? And, uh, oh, one thing I noticed. When you plug this into your computer, do not use a hub. Uh, for some reason, it has to be connected. Well, I'm using a MacBook Pro. The MacBook always gives uh, me some complaints unless I plug it in directly to a port on the computer itself and not through a hub. Turn it on. Like that. And I guess some kind of like a internal uh, date keeping battery is dead, but every single time it asks me to tell it what the date is today. You could just ignore it, but I don't know if it's just this uh, machine, but if I don't tell it what date it is, every like, uh, you know, random, maybe 20 minutes or so, uh, it'll just pop up and ask me the date again. Oh, and you know, if you're capturing and all of a sudden it decides to like ask you what the date is, your video capture stops. So that is why I'm doing this. Let me show you an example of what happens to a bad tape. I'll press play here. Okay. 
So, do you hear this? The sound is skipping. If I press the capture button, sooner or later, it's just going to stop saying that the time code's messed up, whatnot. But other than that, it should be pretty much as simple as putting the tape in. Oh, and you know, you got to be kind of really careful with these things. Because I looked this model up on uh, eBay and like a few other sites and... This Sony GV HD 700 is selling for anywhere from uh, refurbished from 500, I think, to somewhere going for like $3,000. So uh, I gotta be careful not to, to take good care of this guy. So let me go to new movie recording. Press play. Oh no! Oh no, am I having problems with this tape too? Then the next thing is, what about the Hi8 and Digital 8 tapes? And for that, you could get something like this. This is a Sony GBD200. And it plays back Hi8 and Digital 8. And it drinks. The tricky thing is Hi8 and Digital 8, they both uh, can be recorded on the same tape media. But I've realized that uh, there's a lot of different types. I've realized that the XR metal tapes, which are a little bit more expensive, uh, last longer. And also, I'm not sure if this is a marketing gimmick, but some of the tapes are labeled, you know, as advertises being video high eight, which is an analog format. Whereas I think it was late in the nineties sometime uh, Sony and the consortium, they created Digital 8, which can be recorded to the same exact tape, but it's a digital signal. It's, I think it's uh, very similar to the DV uh, format. Manufacturers started coming out with these tapes that say High 8, Digital 8. So it's cross compatible. But the thing is, you can still record digital eight to a regular high eight tape. So that's still kind of a mystery to me. If anyone knows like what's going on here, it'd be great if you could let me know. Um, yeah. And uh, I checked online, by the way, it's 2024 July. And as uh, well, I just checked a few minutes ago, the GVD200, I saw it selling anywhere from about $200 to $1,000. A lot of the ones in the $200 range were classified as near junk, which doesn't sound very reliable. So again, this is a piece of equipment that I really got to take care of. So it also has the iLink port and it uses the same power connection. The downside to this guy is it does not have an uh, <clears throat> inbuilt monitor. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, but this thing has HDMI out, which is kind of nice to, you know, be able to see things on a bigger monitor. Uh, this is an older one. So you get, uh, you know, the RCA red, white, and uh, uh, no, yellow, white, and red uh, RCA cables. And you get, uh, oh man, I haven't seen this for a while. You no know, Y video. So we turn this on.
So there's no way to tell what is playing. You kind of have to look at the screen here, but yes, it's playing. Oh, that's me covered in blood. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, one interesting thing I realized is that uh, most of the tapes that died on me are either HDV, DV, or Digital 8. And the old school analog Hi8 tapes um, are all good. So uh, I guess uh, analog is stronger against uh, time than digital media. Because once digital media gets corrupt, it's like all or nothing. You have it or you don't. Even if you kind of have it, once the time code gets screwed up, it's pretty much the same as not having the footage, period. Oh my god, this scares me. Come on. Well, anyway, that's uh, so it's a short video, but that's the gist of how to capture all this kind of stuff, legacy stuff, into your computer. And if any of you are holding on to old DV tapes, HGV tapes, Hi8 tapes, Digital 8 tapes, whatever it is, uh, mini discs, I would strongly encourage you to digitize them ASAP. I have lost about, at least, um, I've got about 250 DV and HDV tapes that are still alive and about 120 uh, height 8 slash digital 8 tapes that are still uh, alive. So I'm kind of in a race to back these guys up. Uh, unfortunately, about one third of the tapes I had were totally blank. After doing some research, I realized that a lot of, uh, you know, tapes like these, may, I guess even cassette tapes, uh, because they store the data <clears throat> as uh, magnetic information, they're prone to demagnetization, just like, I guess, your hotel card key. I might be wrong, but it seems like the consensus is that um, a lot of tapes will self-demagnetize uh, sometime within 20 to 40 years. These tapes are about uh, 25 years old by now. Some are 30, some go back to 1995. But in my case, I lost about a third of my tapes. So I cannot stress strongly enough, if you have these kind of tapes lying around, digitize them ASAP. <laughs> you will not regret it. Uh, uh, then I'll see you next time. Bye.